Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another spectating game. These ones have been going very well. I like to give a little bit of my insight into the game. Obviously, I've played this for almost 1,000 wins. That video hopefully will be coming soon. I've managed to get quite a few solo wins. It's one of my favorite ways to play the game. And uh, usually we can analyze... Wait. This guy's a level 8. Is this also going to be an episode of... Actually, it's probably going to be a bot or not. Let's be real. This guy's got zero kills. Level eight. This actually might be a legit... Usually when they're less than level 10, it's a little suspicious. Who the hell is starting to play this game right now? I don't know. Probably not too many people, but I guess I could be wrong as well. You got... Uh, some of you guys tell me you're new every once in a while to the game, but for the most part, it seems like people have been playing this game for a long time. I think most people are waiting for Modern Warfare 2 to come out. And shortly after that, we're going to get Warzone 2. Cannot wait for it, man. But we've still got Caldera. Of course, we've got Fortune's Keep. And I was thinking of actually doing some spectating games on that, too. I don't think I've done it yet. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, this guy is... Uh, it's looking more like a bot. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to be Hector Craig. This is looking more bot level to me. But he's going. looks like he's trying to get his loadout, which actually, I don't think he's going to have one. He saw somebody at the top right up there of the screen just jump down towards his loadout. But you can still get the default loadouts even if you're, you know, because you you unlock loadouts at level 5. So, uh, he might have them, but he probably doesn't have anything actually unlocked for any of the guns that he has even. But we'll see. This guy is pro I, it's probably, this guy's probably going to get slammed in the, uh, you know what, here. And uh, we'll spectate him with somebody else in a second. But we'll see. He's one right up ahead. Guys, listen. If you're new, if you're this new to the game, oh man, oh man, you can't, you just can't play. You just can't even play. Just, I'm sorry. I, I, these people are gonna eat you alive. They're gonna eat you alive, man. It's, jeez, dude. That, that guy didn't stand a damn chance. Oh man, that and this is the new player experience, by the way. This guy's a little a. Oh jeez. Listen, if you're that new to the game, you gotta learn your aiming. You gotta learn your shooting. There's more fun to met. Like multiplayer is really where you should go. You should get in some gunfights, learn how some of the stuff works before you hop into Warzone. You're gonna get owned in Warzone. There, I, that guy couldn't even aim aim the gun quite which you know listen i don't want it to deter you but you this is a harder mode is battle royales are a little harder that's why they're fun though you know that's why they're a lot of fun i played so much multiplayer that like you know i i've, I've done it i've pretty much done it all when it comes to that so that's why it was it's been fun for me to get into the battle royales which, you know, that's a whole other topic we can get into with this. But anyways, okay. we're following with David Nava. Coming out, Marco. Follow. This actually uh, was my favorite SMG when it first came out because of how broken uh, and powerful this was in many different regards. I know they've done some tweaks to it. Obviously, Taped Crypt overall has been nerfed back. They've done some tuning to bring all the Vanguard guns back into... Uh, rain a little bit but this is actually nice i did a recent game with the marco and a sniper and it was nice because it gave me a little bit more of the mid range i still noticed i lost a lot of the close ranges but the hip fire is actually still pretty good on it it actually reminded me a bit of the milano even though i didn't have the 3x on it uh so i don't know i i, I might give it some more shots I, I would love to see a good performance with it though because typically right now i've been dying to the blixen and i've been dying to the well gun mostly of course i've been using assault rifles uh, but that's what I see a lot of people running right now. So let's see how well he fares using this one. And he's got the combo with the KG, which I also recently went KG with the snipe. Uh, and it's pretty good. They, they've given it a little bit of love, obviously. Bringing back, back the STG, uh, bringing back some of the other guns. This now just becomes better naturally. It's always had incredible recoil control as well. Yeah, and here's one right up ahead outside factory. Didn't get any hits on him, though. So he's in a great position. This guy's probably not not that great of a player to miss that many shots in the open and miss shots as well. If you have got the element of surprise, you want to be able to you want to capitalize on that as much as you possibly can, right? And this guy 
terrible. Didn't even land a shot. He even had his loadout. You see, that guy was using the OTS. Uh, and I didn't see what the other gun was there. But just a great indicator. The player has no idea what's going on. And it gives this guy, who does know what he's doing clearly here, an opportunity to get a kill on it there. So, you know, that's uh, that's great. But th th this is another thing to, to keep in mind. Is like, What I'm talking about with it, though, is that guy had the element of surprise. If he waited for the right opportunity to get the shots on, he starts that fight with a lead, and then he can push and finish the guy off. It's a very, uh, very common place to go. Great loot spot. Not so much compared to like ruins or village, like maybe one or two. <laughs> he almost went down. Oh, that sucks. He doesn't have enough money for more plates either. Does get a UAV and look at it. We got one coming off arsenal here. Two or three in factory. Looks like two in factory there. Whoa, ghoster! <gasps> a ghoster! I was literally asking yesterday, have any of you guys been dying to ghosters lately? Because ghost has been nerfed where it only is effective if you are moving. You have to actually be walking for ghost to take effect. And I haven't died to ghost in a, in a, a while, really. But grade A example right there. Wow! He was ghosted. He just hit him right in the ass. He's on the right. I was miss. I was miss call with the window. I just saw him in the right bushes there. Unless there's two players, which there could be. There he sees it. Got the crack push on this to finish. He's got the Marco secondary with that STG. STG not quite getting the full finish. 50 round mag on that. It's the one I've been running lately. He let this guy fully replay and still decides to push it out. Great recovery from Mezcal here. He was. He took the shot. But he managed to pull back to cover again. Higher health pools in the game. STG getting a nerf. Gave him the opportunity to pull back to cover. Gets a full replay. The other guy doesn't throw Semtexes. I don't know what he even had in his arsenal, but doesn't do anything to stop it. This guy got back to full health. Read him coming in. Got the shots on. Well countered off of the push there. As now he's on a force play. This is where it becomes a big problem because we know we got one holder here. This guy jumped off the crane to rotate over here. I don't know if he even made it out. I heard a death sound, so the guy's dead behind him as well. And this is another guy that's in the factory that was hunting him. He rotated from over here over to here, probably after hearing all those shots in the zone. He probably came to be the holder off of them. Nice shots, man! And that was noise shot from earlier, who we saw as well. Advanced UAV gets popped because of it, but the hold on that left side, he does have a PDS system there. He could take some time if he needs it, but he's gonna burn the gas mask, try and stay on the zone. Not burn the gas mask there. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna get ahead of the zone, and this is a great angle to take as well. He's going into the trench here to keep cover into the building set here, especially with that advanced UAV up. He now has the intel, knows the guy here is holding. This guy holding just lost all of his kill potential. There's like six people out here. All of them made it away. Unless he, I think he might have killed the guy that was uh, jumping off the crane. Unless that guy made it all the way over here. We're, we're not 100% sure, but he still got the advanced up. He's getting cracks on him, but I, I'm scared that the guy over here... Well, I don't think this guy's going to rotate on him. He's got building. He's got zone. He can hold this for the fight that's going on over here. Not being able to get the walls. I, I, I don't remember where the advanced UAV showed. It seemed like people were pretty spread out. But this fight has gone on long enough that... Oh, this is bad. No! He turns to... Oh, it's because of the cluster! Chickenator called in the cluster. That We can't see that when we're spectating. I was like, why, why is he running away here at this angle? But Chickenator called in the cluster to force the rotation... Get him off the cover. Rather than running down into the building set down here, he ran out into the exposed angle. Chicken got it, man. 13 kills on board as well. I was underestimating him, but it actually was... It, it, because he was staying in the building so long, I was underestimating him, right? But there was a guy in this building earlier, as a matter of fact. Oh, dude, just, I didn't mean to underestimate you, Chickenator. Jeez, man, you don't got to flip me off for it. Listen, you're sitting in a building for a long time, but that being said, it was a very advantageous to building to be sitting in. He was holding out six people out of the zone. Even though he didn't get the kills, he's still doing very good. I respect it, all right? Jeez, man. I was saying you were in the best spot.
Now it's in a difficult position, though. Top three situation, and he did not get the zone. The low ground death blade is good, and you see the rocks. He's looking towards where his next cover is inside the zone. Usually, I even ping it to double check that it is inside of the zone of where I'm going. But he's checking the windows. If he can spot, he, he just needs to figure out where these last three players are. If they start shooting each other, boom, you know exactly what's going on. You can make your decision immediately. But until then, you got to look for where they're going to be popping out. These buildings could be the holding position for him. Top buildings absolutely could be as well, but they're all out of zone. If anything, high ground hill should probably be rotating into the shack here. I don't remember the exact cover up at the top, but that would be the ideal position up on high ground here, especially if there is some good rocks or cover up on that area. Would be the most advantageous play, but you don't know where the rest of them are. Flips a coin, ends up heads. With that decision, he decides to hold and wait for the zone to finish closing in. That's a risky play. Sometimes you're like 50-50. I don't know what to do. A lot of times when you're coming down to this situation as well, it is really up to a coin toss because in solos, you don't have anybody covering your back. There's a lot of luck involved. I like this strategy. He goes for the coin flip to decide whether he pushes up to the early play or he stays back on the late. And he stays back on the late. Based off his patient play earlier too, I want to say that this guy... Okay, zone is now on him. So he's going to move up, avoid the coughing and the absolute force hold. He is in zone here. This is not a bad position, but his weakness is that low left. Yep, and look at where he's looking, right to the low left, because the other way, if they push from the right on him, he's going to hear the footsteps, unless they dead silence pop, which is a very low probability. I'd only give it a 4.20% chance. There it is! Two shots up off the top. He can now decide exactly to make the flank on the left player. He does have an angle on it. Precision airstrike comes out from that right building, being held out of zone there. The left player does have the advantage. If he can get up on the flank of that player, he should be able to get the pick here. And then the combination, the aggressive play off that left player does look to be the power player in the game. It's down to the kill. Done! Yeah, there it is. You see, he was actually taking shots down onto the low ground player. He was the aggressor. You want to go after the better player in a top three situation when they're fighting. You don't want to double team the guy that's at the disadvantage here. You want to take down the guy who has the advantage because if that guy's still full health and he's a good player, you need him dead. If the other guy's hiding in a corner, go kill the good player, deal with the bad player later. Great decision here. Comes out with a 14-15 kill game. Great positioning, great emotes as well. Let's get a post-game interview with Chickenator. Chicken, phenomenal yeah. dub there. What a hold off of the zone and rotation in. Talk to me through that end game. Come on, bro. He could have done better than that. <laughs> Miz, what do you think about it, it, his gameplay at the end there? A little slow for my taste, but what, what are you going to say? He won, right? So it was a slow play, but at the end of the day, he had 15 kills. He worked in early for that mid-early game, and then coming out late game, he played into the strategy. I love that style. What do you? I think you're a bot compared yeah. to him. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, Thank you. Okay, that I, is I know I'm not wrong. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing here? Jeez, man. Well done. Good dub. GG. Guys, guys, listen. If you're, if you're this new to the game... Oh, man. Oh, man. You can't... You just can't play. You just can't even play.